Yo, what's up guys? Farvener here. So in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the newest car in the game, which is the Mantis. Uh, in my last video I uploaded, uh, you guys were asking me in the comments if I could make a video like this about my impressions of what I think about the Mantis, since the car is supposed to basically be a replica of the Batmobile, according to Psyonix. Just like, the only difference is it's customizable. But, and since I'm a Batmobile main, you guys want to know how I think to compare and like the pros and cons and stuff. So I'm gonna get into that in this video, but before I do that, I'm gonna, before I get into the game and stuff, I'm gonna show the decals and the stuff the car brings, just in case anybody watching doesn't already own the Mantis. Since I know that it's harder to get it, because you can only get out of a crate instead of being able to buy it from the showroom for a couple bucks. So you have to get a crate and then be lucky, basically, and get, get it out of a crate. Or you can just buy it on the market, I guess, for keys and stuff. But yeah, let me show you guys the decals it brings. Um, it brings one, two, three, four, five, six. Six decals. Um, they all kind of look alike, to be honest. Nothing too crazy. I usually use this one, K's. I think this is the cleanest one. Just stripes. So that's pretty much it. The decals are all pretty similar. And that's just how the the black market looks. Well, the ones that I have, at least. Labyrinth, Biomass, Heat Wave, and Slipstream. But yeah. Uh, so that, those are decals. Doesn't bring any wheels uh, this time because it comes out in crate, so it can't bring any wheels. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna queue up for a game and tell you guys what I think about it. Okay, so before I go over the card, I have played the card decent amount before, like a few games here and there since the card came out. I was at Gold Rush over the weekend, so I haven't really gotten the chance to play it that much, but I have a decent understanding how it plays. Um, off the bat, the first thing I noticed when I launched the game and I switched to Mantis was, although it's it says that the same stats of Bellman, for some reason in my head, it just feels like the turning, the ground turning in this car is just smoother. And a lot of people I've talked to as well, other pros, also say the same thing that the this car feels like a lot smoother for some reason than Bellman. Bellman feels like a little bit heavier. Than this car and i don't know that could just be like in my head since i use Batmobile all the time and all that stuff i don't know like it just feels a little bit smoother than the Batmobile. however like besides like turning in the air it feels the same though in my opinion in my opinion in the air it feels the same um I'm trying to think what else uh, oh yeah the thing that i like about the Batmobile more than this car is the hits it can get like to be honest, I just think there's something about the Batmobile that's just unique unique to that car than any other car in the game. I don't know what it is. I don't even think Sonic knows what it is, to be honest. But the hits you get out of Batmobile, no other car can get hits like that, it feels like to me. With this car, of course, it's a flat, very flat car. It's really good in that sense, but I, it does get boomers, but with Batmobile, you can just get boomers out of nowhere with like the ball getting no momentum. And Oh, that's a good shot. And even though this car is similar to it, or supposed to be the same, it doesn't get exactly the kind of boomers that you would get with Battlebill, from my experience at least. Um, what else? Uh, the flicks? Flicks are pretty good in this car, I'm not gonna lie. Since it's so so flat, just like the Battlebill, uh, and long, the flicks are basically the same. Uh, as long as you time it right and you put it on the back of your car, uh, the ball on the back of your car, you're gonna get boomers or not boomers but you're gonna get high flicks every time if you know how to do it i know rizzo was telling me last night how like um with this car you can get flick like the delayed flicks with this car are really really good uh, i haven't really tried that too much because i don't really need to do delay flicks that much when i dribble but, but yeah other than that it's basically the same uh, like i said the only big differences i've noticed are the turning feels nicer on this car, and you can get bigger boomers, stronger hits in general with the bound wheel. I know the stats are supposed to be the same, like same turns and same hitbox, but it just feels different. I don't know. It, in the past, you always have like cars like Marauder that's supposed to have Octane hitbox, but I think everybody can say that the Marauder and Octane do not feel the same at all when you hit the ball. It just feels different. I don't know what it is, but but yeah, I think this car is kind of the same thing. With that, like, uh, like for example, um, when the Twin Mill came out, they said that it was supposed to have the same stats as Battlefield. Well, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure. Turning race, maybe not the same, but I know it's supposed to have the same hitbox. And 
Almost everybody can agree that the Twin Mill does, doesn't really feel like the Bellmobile at all. I don't really know why. It's supposed to have the same stats, but at the end, it just doesn't feel like they do have the same stats. You know what I'm saying? All right, I could just be dumb. It's all in my head, but I'm just telling you guys what I think, in my opinion. Oh, don't do that. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah, other than that, I don't really think there's much else to talk about concerning the cars and the differences. I pretty much I think I've listed everything. Um, the height of the car, maybe? I think the, like those the, that kind of stuff kind of is the same. The wheels seem bigger on this car, though, just by like uh, looking at it. I noticed that when I watched the game for the first time as well, or when I queued up with somebody. If you have two mantises sitting together in the main menu, you notice that the wheels kind of like mush together, the front wheels. I'm not, I never really noticed if it does that with the Bellmobile or not, but it was pretty noticeable with the mantis. I don't know if that's like supposed to be a thing or not. Holy shit, that guy just landed from the ceiling. Don't dump me, thank you. I still only a two goal, yeah, I started winning by three this whole time. Right. Try to win this game. Yeah, you... That's the kind of flick you can get with Bell Bill as well. Yeah, with this car too. But all in all, it's Mint. In my opinion, Mint is still a very good car. Definitely try it out uh, if you haven't already. Or if you don't have it already, it's definitely worth getting. Um, in terms of flat cars, I put this over the Breakout, Dominus GT, Dominus. Honestly, well, I don't know over the Dominus GT. Maybe not over the Dominus GT, in my opinion. I think I would put this third in my in like my list of favorite flat cars. Battle Bill being first, um, Dominus GT second, and then this car third. And then have Dominus, Breakout, Endo, Windmill, all those cars under it. Yeah, I think it's a pretty good car overall. I think Sonic did a good job on it. But I don't think it was supposed to be just like a customizable Battle Bill, but it doesn't really feel like it. It feels like still, even though like it's supposed to have the same stuff, it feels a little bit different than this, regardless. Well, that was like as fuck. Uh, and that was a weak ass hit. Don't bump me. Fuck off. Yeah, you. Cool. Mm, might be in actually. Oh, that was a good save actually. That flip save. No. I might score that. Yeah, my team didn't have boost. Hopefully we don't throw this game. That'd be awkward. It's honestly a pretty good car, not gonna lie. Overall, it's pretty good. Uh, I don't honestly, I'm gonna be honest, I don't think it also could be the fact that I play the balance up so much that nothing's ever gonna feel as good as with it or as it. Um I don't think, to be honest, after this car coming out, me not wanting to switch to it, I feel like I'm never going to switch off the balance bill. I don't feel like there's going to be a car that comes out that's going to be better than it. In my opinion, for me, for the way I play, obviously for a lot of you guys, it might be Octane, Breakout, Nomus, all those cars, but for me, Bound. Ooh! <laughs> Speaking of a fucking Nitro, Nitro Crate I own, I just got a crate. This is my second crate, and the second Nitro Crate. Well, now that I, open, or now that I have it, I might as well open it for the video. Let's do it. <laughs> Hopefully I have a key so I don't have to buy one. See? Yep, I got one. I actually really like these wheels. The new wheels in the crate. Besides like the Mantis, I really like these two items. I feel like these two wheels will look badass colored. Alright, hopefully we get one of those. Let's see what we get. Come on, give me good wheels. Oh, boost, 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 boost. All right, that's fine. I'll take that. I'll take that. I don't have this boost. Hex face. Oh, it looks pretty decent. It kind of reminds me of Hypernova a little bit. The design. Yeah, I think I'm gonna end the video with this, boys. I uh, hope you.